Hello beautiful people. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Vans Lizzie Armanto shoe. I've been skating them for about two months now, so I think I have enough experience with the shoe to talk about who they're for, who they're not for, if they're worth the money, and if I would buy them again. Let's jump into the Vans Lizzie Armanto shoe review. So I'm gonna be judging these shoes based off durability, impact, aesthetics, and board fill. Those are sort of the categories I'm gonna break it down. And by the end of this video, I'll definitely answer some of the questions or get into some of the comments that you asked me in the initial setup of these shoes. So I did make a video where I, I talked about the specs and just setting it up. So if you're interested in those things, check out the link above. I'm gonna give you more of my personal experience with having these shoes after a couple months in this video particularly. So yeah, if you're interested in the specs of the shoes, check out the other video. This video is gonna be more how I feel after actually riding them. And then I'm gonna jump into the comments that you guys left. So the first thing that we could jump into is the aesthetics. And right away, obviously I got the white pair, the white on white. So, I mean, that's kind of asking for it. I didn't think that they were gonna last super long or that like the colorway, this, it would stay as fresh. It wouldn't stay as white. That's kind of my bad, I knew that. But at the same time, in between this white one and the pink shoe, I think that's what really identifies this as a Lizzie Armanto shoe or just a different van shoe. When you look at the black and white version, I feel like it looks pretty similar to a skate high so based off the aesthetics alone I think the colorways are really cool I don't think there's anything that really like changes the Vans shoe lineup however that's just what business is obviously they have to base it off performance so they know their customer they know it's gonna sell they don't go too far away from their current lineup like a lot of people commented that shoe looks pretty similar to all the other van shoe and I don't disagree I do think there's some cool things like the beveled up wave logo I think that's pretty cool maybe don't go with the white one because what I know is that I mean I kind of have the sweaty feet so the tongue started getting yellow really quick just from like the sweat in my feet and back here where the seam meets it kind of started getting uh, pretty gross and then along the sole of the shoe you can see that it's actually getting pretty gross too so your feet sweat a lot when you skateboard that's just the reality of it so a white shoe it's normally not a big deal like I've had other Vans white shoes and I haven't had this issue so I just noticed that it started getting really yellow right away it's kind of a downfall to the aesthetics but overall as far as that goes I think they're pretty good looking shoe out of a one to five on aesthetics I'll give them a three because I don't think they're really Really pushing too far like it doesn't look too much different than any other skate shoe but I do think there are some little nuances that are really nice and there's some little textures and overall it's a really simple shoe which I do really do enjoy so the aesthetics on the shoe are exactly as you see them there's not much to that beyond what you see on the surface level. But overall, yeah, it's a good looking shoe. Not a mad about how it looks. When I look down at my feet when I'm skating, I want a good looking shoe because I think that's important for your confidence and things of that nature. And I do think it does give me that. I still think my last resorts give me a little more satisfaction. And again, this is pretty subjective when you're talking about aesthetics, but that is just my take on it. And the next thing I want to talk about is board control with these shoes. Because it is a mid top, I really wanted to opt for that option just to get a little more protection up here. You know the back of my heels uh, I'm always just doing different tricks where my board seems to shoot right into my ankle so it is nice having that extra protection and I will say it doesn't feel bulky I almost think like some of the board control as far as the height of the shoe is just the same as the last resort if you've tried those shoes they have really good board control so I honestly think the board control on the shoe was actually really really impressive I was pretty hyped with it right out of the box I was able to like really skate my board and I do think there was a break in time I talked about that I mentioned that in the previous video so I won't go too much into the break in time but overall I think it has really good board control as time has gone on it's just gotten more board control I don't think it's lost too much of its stiffness or the shape of the shoe which I think is pretty important especially for a skate shoe so yeah I think board control overall I'd actually give it a, a rating of four out of five I think it has really good board control especially for being a mid top because a lot of times when you get to the mids it becomes harder to flick your board or just kind of have that more maneuverability in your ankle and having that flexibility is really nice while still having the protection. I think this shoe does a really good job of sort of balancing that like protection and bulkiness with actually having a good amount of board control. I think it's really nice for that. Next thing I wanted to dive into is the impact of these shoes. I don't think the impact is super good. So if you're someone that's like jumping down things or doing a lot of flip tricks, I don't think it's the most impact shoe. It does have the pop cush insole, which is the first skate shoe that has this pop cush. It's kind of like, or sorry, not the pop cush. This is the eco cush, my bad. The eco cush insole, which is pretty similar to the pop cush. I think it's like a little bit thinner 
just apparently made with like recycled uh, fabrics. I go more into that in the previous video, like I was saying. But as far as impact goes, I haven't had too many issues. I've run out of big transition. I've been doing some kick flips. I have been flicking it here and there. And I will say I'm fine with it at the level that I skate. But I think if you're someone that likes to huck down stairs or huck down gaps, I don't think it would be a super durable shoe for that. I just think you can roll it pretty quick. There's not a lot of impact. Like the sole is pretty thin, which kind of gives you that nice board control. And that's constantly the factor with skate shoes is like you're sacrificing board fill for impact or you're or you're getting more impact and you're sacrificing board fill. With this shoe, I think it leans a lot more towards good board fill and less impact. So yeah, if you're someone that's taking a lot of impact, I wouldn't recommend these shoes. Out of a scale, uh, one through five on impact, I'll give them I'll give them a three and that's really being considerate. Now, before we go into the durability of the shoe, the one thing that I did notice right away, uh, it was kind of frustrating or hard to deal with is I had to unlace every single lace for the first like two weeks of this shoe. And someone mentioned that they put the laces on through a machine and they just have it like super like tight and constructed for you. So when you receive it, it looks really good. But the thing about that is like, it is a pain. That's part of the break-in process. If you ask me, this shoe is all about like no break-in out of the box, but I will say the laces are the biggest part of breaking these shoes in you have to take them all the way down and then all the way back up for at least the first week or two that's what i had to do which can be somewhat of a pain in the ass depending on the environment that you're in when you're in the city you definitely don't want to be tracking all the stuff that's on your skate shoes into your house so yeah very common thing you will see. Make sure you take your shoes off before you enter the homie's house. One more thing before we go into the durability is the foot width. I will say this shoe is much more of a narrow van shoe than a lot of other vans. Vans does make a wider shoe option in my opinion, compared to a lot of skate shoes at least. Although there's not a lot of big wide skate shoe options out there, which is pretty interesting. I think there's definitely a market out there for that. Some of you have mentioned that in the previous video, but this is definitely more of a narrow footed shoe. I would actually almost say it fits more like a Converse than it does a Vans because of the narrowness to it. Something to consider. So if you have a really wide foot, I don't think this is gonna be a good option for you. You might be able to go a size up and really jam your foot in there, but it's gonna feel really tight on the left and the right. Someone did mention in the previous video that this is kind of like a Vans version of the Nike Blazer, which I think that is a good take on. I feel that way. I would never skate a Nike Blazer just cause I'll never skate Nikes, of course. Um, but at the same time, I do get where they're coming with that, especially from like an aesthetic standpoint. It definitely feels like that but I don't think it's as chunky which is really nice but that's probably why you're not getting that impact and you are getting that board control. Now, as far as the durability on these shoes, I will say they've been taking a beating and I was doing a lot of kick flips in New York and I was just like really trying to mess them up. As you can see, they're pretty fresh still. Like there's some scratches on there. I mean, they're definitely getting messed up on the wavy part, starting to get fall apart. The Vans logo fell off yesterday, actually. That was on the side right here. Normally is right there, it fell off yesterday. So this seam is starting to break away actually right here. So there's a lot of stitching on this shoe and that was the one downfall that I think for the durability of it. There's just so much different designs and sticking like down here, this little area is starting to flick up. So if you're doing a lot of flicks, I can see all this sort of just beveling up really quick. That is the only thing. I do like this heel thing and I think that has helped a lot for the durability. Um, getting the back of these shoes nice and stable is always a big thing for me. Uh, also the insole and just the bottom of the shoe is super nice. I will say a lot of the times I run through the bottom of the shoes before the top of the shoes. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a transition skater and I like filming. I'm dragging my foot quite a lot. So I I will say the tread on the shoe is really nice. It's much different. I was a little concerned because I love the waffle grip, but yeah, I will say this is much better. Probably the best Vans sole that I personally have ever skated. I really enjoy it. The only thing is it is starting to separate from the shoe. Like the sole is almost starting to crack away from the upper part of the shoe. I'm not sure what the deal is on that. So a little bit of a weird durability thing. However, I will say everything else is held pretty sturdy. Like you're just getting your normal wear and tear on this shoe. So I will say as far as durability goes, I'll give it a 3.5 out of five, which I think is making a very durable skate shoe. Now I wanna get into some of the comments that you guys mentioned in the previous video about these shoes. Cole Rebel, he said, got some of these. They do fit really weird. Had to get a whole size up just to get them on. Don't really see myself skating them. I'll just stick to the half cab. So yeah, I will say if you have the option to get these shoes versus the half cab, I personally would probably opt for the half cab now that I have tried them 
them. However, I don't regret getting them. I think they've been a really fun shoe and I'm gonna continue to skate them for a while. The sketchy skater said, do you do many flip tricks? I'm wondering how the highs allow your ankle to flick. And I will say actually these shoes for having, you know, the height of a mid top, I think they allowed me to flick so good, just as good as my last resorts, which have really good board control as well. I know I keep comparing them to that shoe, but I think they have uh, a lot of different but also similarity. So that's why I keep comparing them to that shoe. So yeah, I would say that they allow a lot of flick and I actually think this is a really good shoe if you're into flicking your board. However, the impact is something that you definitely do need to consider. Lot Wizard said, I like the churn flap in the back for a wee bit of Achilles shark bite resistance. Yeah, I will say they're really good for that. Um, altogether, really nice for that. The other thing that I didn't really mention is I have been knee sliding with these shoes actually, which is something that I've been hesitant to do because knee sliding with shoes tears the top of, of the shoe up really really quick but I have noticed these actually held pretty good with knee slides like it hasn't really ripped up the top too much it's just kind of discoloring the top which is totally normal but besides that I think the shoe has held up really good with knee slides so that's really nice as a transition skater to be able to put on some shoes knee slide them and not totally ruin them right away with my last resorts that I skated it ruined the top like the top insole just got all messed up right away from knee slides so definitely a good shoe if you're looking to knee slide as well that's it for this video. Hope you guys appreciated it. A little update on Lizzie Armand of Van Shoes. Leave me any questions down below. I look at all the comments and I try to respond to all the comments as well that I can. But uh, sometimes I respond to them in the video. So make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next video. See y'all next time. Mash.